Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Huh. That's not that many. Are you kidding? How are you supposed to read twelve books in one weekend? Princess Celestia obviously thinks I can or she would never have assigned them to me. I'm not planning on letting her down. Well, I hope you're not planning on sleeping then either. Actually, Spike, why don't you take the day off? Really? Why not? These books are gonna keep me busy for a while. Hmm, I do have a long list of things I've been dying to do. Touch nose with tongue. <laughs> Done. Play bongos on my belly. Done. Smell my dirty feet. <sighs> Done. Huh, that didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? What to do, what to do. <gasps> A hot air balloon ride. <gasps> oh no! Wait! Run away, balloon! <laughs> uh, sorry! That was a close one. If I didn't know better, I would swear that I was in the middle of the dark and scary Everfree Forest. Uh, what was that? Come on, Spike. Just because this forest is full of wild, dangerous animals doesn't mean that you're gonna see one. <laughs> ah! Back. Come on, we should be heading on back now. Man, am I lucky you were out here? Uh, why were you out here? Saw the balloon floating by with no pony in it. And came out here to investigate. Guess you did too, huh? Uh, yeah. I was investigating the runaway hot air balloon too. So, uh, now that the mystery's been solved, let's get out of here, huh? Thanks for walking me home, Spike. That was mighty kind of you. But now I have some chores that need tending to, so see you later. What chores? I'll do them. That's sweet, but you don't it's have It's the least I can do. You saved my life. I need to repay the favor. Shoot, Spike. That's what friends do for each other. You don't need to repay the favor. Yes, I do. Sugar, it's okay. It's not necessary. Applejack, you don't understand. This is something that I really need to do. Well, I hate to get in the way of doing something you need to do. Great, what should I do? Uh, Apple Bloom's over yonder giving little Pickington a bath. I was gonna lend her a hook, but maybe you could lend her one instead. 
on the double. Applejack said I could help you. Great! I could use all the help I can get. <laughs> Wait till Applejack sees how you sparkle. Ta-da! Good job, you two. Applejack, is it okay if I get going? I don't want to be late for my Crusaders meeting. We're getting fitted for water skis. <laughs> you definitely don't want to be late for that. Water skiing, cutie mark, here I come. Spike, you can head on out too. I reckon you have repaid me in full, so we are officially even Steven. What? Oh, no. We aren't even close to being even, Steven. Please, Applejack, you must allow me to assist you further. I don't know, Spike. Just don't feel right to have you uh, doing things for me. Please? Really, you don't? Pretty please? It's just not necessary. Pretty, pretty, pretty please? Uh, oh, all right. You can help Granny Smith and me bake some pies! Pies! I'm helping Applejack make some pies! Coming right up. Uh, oops. Sorry, Applejack. Uh, let me get something to clean that up. <laughs> Appreciate all your help today, Sugar Cube, but... I can take it from here. Don't be ridiculous. It is my honor and my duty. Today's just the beginning. What's that now? You saved my life. <laughs> According to the Spike the Dragon Code, I owe you a life debt and must serve you. But now what about Twilight? Doesn't she need your help and such? Huh, you're right. I better break the news to Twilight. I just hope she doesn't take it too hard. Be right back. Spike, this is your personal, moral, ethical dragon code we're talking about. You have to do this. It's not like you and Twilight won't be friends anymore, but it won't be the same. But it has to be done. Twilight, Applejack just saved my life from horrible dragon-eating timber wolves. Mm-hmm. And, as you are aware, I adhere to my dragon code, and this means I must serve her for the rest of my natural-born days. I'm sure you understand. Mm-hmm. It's been an honor being your faithful assistant. Sounds good. Hmm. She said it was okay. Really? So, with Twilight's blessing, I am free to follow my code and serve you until... Well, until... Listen, Sugar Cube, I completely respect your dragon code. Truly, I do, but I just can't cotton with you permanently serving me. Please, Applejack, my dragon code is a part of me. I have to be true to myself. If you don't let me do this, I won't be a noble dragon anymore. Oh, well, I can't have you feeling like you're not a noble dragon now, can I? Great! Then from here on in, your wish is my command. Oh, uh, okay. I would like you to... Hmm. Oh. Huh? Help me take some of the pie you made to... Rarity? Uh, sure, why not? I help bake it. Chewing. <laughs> Aren't you gonna have some more? I had a big lunch. It's ten in the morning. Breakfast? A big breakfast. Oh, okay. 
Maybe you could take her plate back to the kitchen and wash it off. As you wish. What was that all about? <sighs> I saved Spike from some timber wolves in the Everfree Forest, and now he thinks he has to serve me forever. <sighs> oh, what I wouldn't give to have some pony forever in my debt. I'd get him to organize my closets and give me pedicures and help me with my sewing and... Okay, I get it. Having some pony to do things for you would be a dream come true. But I don't feel right having Spike thinking he owes me something. When you tasted that pie, sometimes his help isn't that helpful. Do you have a broom I could borrow? Hey, Jay Rarity, what's happening? Applejack saved Spike's life and now he has to serve her forever. Sweet! What are you having him do? Wash your laundry? Clean your room? Help you with your unfinished novel? Mine's about this awesome Pegasus who's the best flyer ever and becomes the captain of the Wonderbolts. However, did you come up with that ingeniously woven, intricate plot line? Just came to me. Thing is, I don't really want him to serve me forever, but I don't know how to get him to stop. That's easy. Just make him help you with something really, really hard. I don't know. I don't want him to get hurt. Please! He'll quit way before there's even a chance of getting hurt. Leave this to me. So, Spike, Applejack was gonna help me stack some hay so I could practice smashing through it, but I'm feeling extra, extra powerful today. You are? Yeah, I am. So instead of hay, I'm gonna smash through rocks. Rocks? Yeah, a huge tower of rocks. And you're gonna build it. I am? Yeah, I mean, unless you don't want to help Applejack. I do! It is Spike's Dragon Cove. Then get to it! Trust me, this is gonna work like a charm. Huh. I was sure he'd give up after, like, three rocks. Oh, goodness. If it had been me, I'd have just pretended I didn't have anything for him to do. Why didn't I think of that? Is this high enough? That's plenty high. Come on down, Spike. Bad news, he actually ended up building the whole rock tower. Good news. I've got a rock tower to knock down. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> Awesome! Want to do it again, Rainbow Dash? Applejack can rebuild it for you. And when I say Applejack, I of course mean me. Sure. Why not? No! I mean, I don't think Rainbow Dash needs any more of your help. My help. She doesn't need it. Right, Rainbow Dash? Yeah. I guess I'm good for now. And so am I. I just can't think of one more thing I need help with, so you don't have to do anything else. What do you mean you can't think of anything else I can help with? Exactly that. There's nothing else. I don't want you to do anything. If I don't help you, how will I know I'm a noble dragon? Well, uh... Maybe there's things you need help with that you don't even realize you need help with. If she needed help, I think she'd realize it. Maybe not. Maybe Applejack needs help realizing what she needs help with. Like... Maybe your back is just... Uh, that does feel good. <laughs> See? Or you might need help remembering your favorite song. The dragon is the finest creature ever. There's more to him than just guarding treasure. I don't think that's her favorite song. Or you might need help breathing. Breathing? I certainly do not. <laughs> See? There are plenty of things I can help you with. And you don't even have to trouble yourself with thinking of them. No, I'll think of them. Let me think of them. As you wish. Twilight! Twilight, are you there? Twilight! Ah! Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. <sighs> no, it's okay. I need to take a break anyway. What's going on? I know Spike told you that he was gonna follow his dragon code and serve me forever for saving him from the Timberwolves and that you were okay with it, but... Wait, what? He said he told you all about it. I'm guessing maybe you were a little distracted when he told you. Mm, maybe a little. Should have realized you wouldn't have let him go so easily. Well, now that you know what's going on, maybe you could talk some sense into him. Oh, Applejack, I wish I could, but... 
This is dragon code we're talking about. Surely you know how important the dragon code is to a dragon. I sure am starting to. Mm, there's only one other way Spike is going to fulfill the debt he feels he owes you. 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. All right, y'all. Here's the deal. Spike needs to save my life. And you want to shoot you out of a cannon towards a hornet's nest and give Spike a butterfly nest so we can catch you mere seconds before we hit the nest and are stuck by a thousand angry hornets. I'll wear this mustache. No. I am going to be attacked by a timber wolf. <gasps> can I still wear the mustache? When I give the signal, Pinkie Pie and Rarity will come running out of the woods, being pursued by the Timberwolf. I'll start to run too, but then pretend to get my hoof stuck. I'll ask Spike to help me dislodge it, and he will, and I'll be able to get away from the terrifying Timberwolf. Having saved me from certain doom, Spike will then consider us even. Everybody get it? Uh-huh. I'll do my best. Mm -hmm. Just one question. Yes? No. <sighs> Suit yourself. <clears throat> we are all ready to play our parts, <clears throat> but are you sure you are ready to play yours, Applejack? What do you mean? Show us your best damsel in distress move. Uh, oh, well, uh, uh, uh how's this? <clears throat> Absolutely horrendous. Okay, this needs some serious work. Now, first, you must lift your foreleg up to your forehead, like so. <gasps> Applejack! No time. Here he comes. Uh, over here, Spike. You said you had something else you needed me to do? Oh, yes. I, I was just hoping you could maybe uh, sweep up all those leaves for a compost pile and... But, of course. Oh, by the way, there are exactly 24,567,837 blades of grass at Sweet Apple Acres. I can't believe you counted every single one of them. And you asked me to. And as a noble dragon and follower of my dragon code, I... That was very convincing. Timber Wobble! We are doomed! <laughs> terrifying if he wasn't a fake. You got the clomping of his claws. The roar was spot on. And the detail on his face is pretty good. But you forgot one thing. His breath. You can smell a real Timberwolf's breath from a mile. <laughs> Too late. I'm already on.
happened to you guys back there? Thought you were right behind us. My hoof was stuck, and that timber wolf was coming right at me. Wait, you were actually stuck? Uh-huh. But Spock picked up a pebble and rocketed that thing right at the huge timber wolf's mouth and saved my life. Uh, it was nothing. It was something, all right. Of course, I wouldn't have needed help if I hadn't been trying to stage a fake timber wolf attack in the first place. Yeah. What was that all about? Uh, I know this code thing's important to you, but if something like this comes up in the future, think maybe we can go back to my code, say that's what friends do, and leave it at that. I promise I won't think of you as any less noble. Sounds good to me. But maybe let's just try to avoid situations where one of us actually needs the other one to save their life. You got yourself a deal. Thanks, Spike. Happy to help. Don't know what I'd do without you. No, really. I'm really, really, really happy to help you. <laughs> oh.